Oh, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Coffee here, and today we're back with a whip and chat. But before that, we're gonna do an unboxing. Just because this unboxing wouldn't last long enough for an actual video on its own. So I'm just gonna combine the two if you guys don't mind. And I'm sure you won't because I just got a package. I just, let me stop before I get copyrighted. I actually got this package a couple of days ago. If you're on Twitch with me, you would have already seen somewhat of what's in this package. If not, let's take a look at it, shall we? Now this comes to us from Oh Snap Crafters Cafe. Yes! So Oh Snap Crafters Cafe has come out with glue dots. This is not revolutionary. What is revolutionary is the fact that they're like glittery and they smell delicious. So when I found out that they had glue dots, I know a lot of you have been bugging me to try glue dots, okay? And so I was like, oh right. I, I of course talked to the lady over at oh snap, oh snap Crafters Cafe and I was like, hey look, listen, let me let me go ahead and grab a couple of them glue dots and some other stuff. So the first thing we got is this Oh Snap Dots. So it's called Oh Snap Dots. This is warm vanilla sugar. Now, again, if you're over on Twitch with me, because when we diamond paint, I wanted to use them to see how they worked because I didn't want to be fiddling around here on camera. Um, I did open one, and you can see a couple of them are missing. Trial and error. We're not going to talk about it. Um, but these smell like warm vanilla sugar. The way to Miss Coffee's heart is to make something that smells like food. So they are the originators of this product. And of course, anytime somebody comes out with something and they're the originators of it, you know your girl's got to try it. So I got some of those. And of course, I will have her shop link down below. And I got my, my thing here. Something about dirt. I see all I see is dirty it up. <laughs> Thank you for hiding my address. <laughs> so here we go um bah, 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 bah. so i'm just making sure that that's my invoice okay so she gave me some instructions cps <laughs> you like to throw away instructions <laughs> i'm not even joking she highlighted it and everything you since you like to throw away instructions one <laughs> use a new single placer tip to sir thank you <laughs> Thanks so much, Miss Coffee. Since I've owed you that rainbow metal cover minder base for so long, I've added some extra goodies. Ooh. P.S. Since you like to throw away instructions, <laughs> use a new single placer tip. You don't have to use a new multi placer, though. Three, after you load the glue dots, press each end on your hand to dirty it up. All right, so you don't want it super like whatever. You want to dirty it up a little bit. Thank you for including the instructions on the paper because you know how your girl do. All right, so we we have glue dots. They're scented. We got some stuff here. And we got some more glue dots here with instructions. So let's open some stuff up. Here are the instructions to how to use the beautiful scented sparkly sticky dots. Yes. So this is a new product that uh, they came up with and I'm super excited to give it a try. I keep wanting to say Jenny, but I'm scared if I say Jenny, it's going to be wrong. I'm pretty sure it is Jenny, but Jenny, if I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, so we have some Oh Snap um, sparkly dots and then we have some cover minders. We have some cover minders. We also got stickers. We have a cactus and it's a vibe. It's totally a vibe. So thank you for the stickers. I'm pretty sure Maggie will steal them post haste when she gets home. We have a, is that a cover minder? It's a snap on thing. I'm not sure what the snap on thing. Oh, we have a flower. She said she owed me the rainbow one. Let's go, let's go. You know your girl's about to use that. So let's go ahead and get that out of the package. Now I have some more of the snappy things. They're in my bag down here. But I had been waiting for this one and then I forgot. <laughs> then I forgot. The, the I'm glad she remembered because I freaking forgot. Uh, I ended up staying up late, real, real, real late one night uh, talking to Jenny. And yeah, so that's how that works. You just snap it into the center and you have a nice decorative cover minder so thank you for that 
Um, I did order some cover minders, which I knew you guys would love. And again, I will link Jenny's shop in the description box of this video so you guys can go check their out over on Etsy. So we have Holy Mother Forking Shirt Balls. <laughs> You know your girl's got to keep it sassy. And then we have... Can't spell happiness without saying penis. <laughs> I'm a horrible person. <laughs> and then we have... Not a tree hugger. We're not, we're not hugging trees around here. Especially not no cactuses because they would just die in North Dakota. Tried to cook dinner, accidentally summoned a demon. These things happen. Not everything's going to be a banger. I'm just saying. Oh, you would have to add this one, wouldn't you? Now, I bought a bundle of, of minders. So that's why you're seeing so many of them. Cute but psycho but cute. <laughs> Why does she know me so well? I feel attacked. <laughs> I feel attacked. Now, these are random that they pick. she picks them out. So I'm just like, okay. I'll have a Cafe Mocha Vodka Valium Latte to go, please. <laughs> and then our last... ones here I'm fine now they always make fun of me because whenever something happens I go it's fine it's fine I'm, I'm fine I'm fine so this is this is perfect this is really perfect so thank you so much oh snap crafters cafe for all the awesome minders and we are going to give a try to these glue sparkly things and they, they know I love where those originals so, it said use a new tip. Problem is, I don't think I have any new tips around here. I don't think. I have new, like, uh, actually, nope, that's not a tip. Oh, I do have a new tip. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a new tip. I'm gonna grab a new tip. And it's technically not new because uh, it's got wax in it right now. And technically, the tip that I have on here is new because I literally just got this pen. This was a congratulations gift from Diamond Pen Pal. Um, all of these are Diamond Pen Pals. Um, and I'll link their Etsy shop down below as well, of course. And so I literally just got this not too long ago. Again, if you're over on Twitch, you would have seen this because I unboxed it with you guys over on Twitch. Um, so there's already the sparkly dots in this one. But just... For the sake of this video, we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove the wax from this pen. Oh, no, I can't. That has something else in it. Sorry. How about from the rainbow pen? The rainbow pen has regular wax? No, it doesn't. Sorry, I got putty in the mail too, so I've been testing out the putty. This pen is also new. They gave me this one. Uh, this one was... Uh, to match the chocolate kit that I got from Oraloa. Which, if y'all would like a post review on that, let, let your girl know. So, like I said, this one already has the glue stuff in it. And you can see it down there. I used two different colors. So, the sparkly dots. They remind me of that candy from back in the day. Because they're just like little dots on a piece of paper. And what we're going to do is I'm going to take them off here. And we're going to take and put them in there. So I figured out how to do this the other day when I used them. Because again, I wanted to test it out before I did a video with it. Because I knew I'd be fumbling. And I'm just going to shove that down in there. I'm going to attempt to shove that down in there. I don't like touching it with my fingers because I feel like it gets rid of some of the tack. Even though they tell you to pat it on your finger. And I like the way they say it, pat it on your finger to dirty it up like my hands are dirty. Okay, I got to struggle for a second. I'm new to this. So for those folks that actually do this, you already know how to do this. But I'm new, so don't judge me. 
I'm used to just stabbing things instead of having to like actually put them in there. So we're gonna try. My thing is, is that I couldn't get it to stay in there. So see how it comes off on my finger? So we're gonna stab it in there. We're gonna attempt to stab it in there. I don't know how you get it to stick in there though. Like that's my thing. And again, this is a new tip. It's not even like bent from being used or anything. So this is a new tip. It's just, I don't know how they stay in there. This is what I struggled with when I was testing it was how to get it to stay in there. And if nothing else, uh, my hand's been all over it so it should be nice and dirty. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, just kind of pushing it down in there to make sure it's in there. Cause then what do I do with the excess that sticks out? So like it sticks out, so I don't know how to, I guess it's supposed to stick out. I guess, I don't know. So we're gonna use it like this and I'm sure she'll yell at me later. So I've never used glue dots before. I'm a, I'm a big advocate for blue wax. I don't see this being uh, something I use often. I, I'd see me using it um, and for those folks that love Oh my God, it smells so good. For those folks that love uh, glue dots, this will be perfect for you because they're not only glue dots, but they're scented and they have sparkles on them. So, and I've had these for a couple of days now and they do still smell like warm vanilla sugar. The scent is not super strong. It is very subtle. So you're not gonna like, when I first opened the package, I could smell it. And now I put my nose to it and I can still smell it. So uh, it is scented, they are sparkly. They come like this. And I got these two, cause she, I think she only had two scents on her, her site. And this is one of my favorite scents anyways. So yeah, so we're gonna get started here with my diamond painting. We're gonna, we're gonna test this out. Cause again, I'm new. So again, if you hear me pause for weird reasons or whatever, it's just me vaping, don't worry about it. So, We're gonna start working on this. So I hope that was good enough for you guys. Uh, sorry, I'm a little cluster brain today. It has been a day. It has been a day and we're gonna talk about it. But I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, it has been a crap day for the past couple of days and I'll tell you why. It's kind of started yesterday. Well, Sunday, technically. So Sunday, I was already dreading the kids going back to school because that means I have to wake up early. Not like I didn't wake up early their entire week off because I had to stream. Um, but I had I, I was dreading them going back to school because I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of my kids going to school. I like I much prefer them being home. And that's just my lazy side. My lazy side is like I don't want to have to deal with parent pickup. Okay. If you've ever had to deal with parent pickup, you know why. Like this morning, the lady there was a lady in the line right at the entrance of the school. We're gonna try this. Ooh, it makes a little poppy noise. Can you hear it? Anyways, so there was a lady at the entrance of the school this morning and she uh, wouldn't move. And because they have officers posted at the school, the officer came over and essentially, you can't really pull somebody over that's already pulled over. Like she was like literally just blocking the entrance to the school and nobody knew why. And so I'm sitting there and I'm like, okay, why, why exactly are you blocking the entrance to the school? So the cop comes over and you know, gets her to pull her window down and she's all like, like she's in a, like a van and she's all like leaning over the seat and so she like comes back over and the cop is like, ma'am, you're holding up traffic. Is there something wrong? And she's like, no, I'm just getting my children dressed. 
Yeah, yeah, you, you heard right. She was getting her children dressed, okay? So I'm like, I'm sorry. Did you say you're getting your children dressed? Now remember this, this what, this, these glue dots have been in here for a couple of days. So yeah. So apparently this woman rushed out of the house so quickly that she couldn't even get her kids completely dressed at home. So she decided to do it in the, the entrance way of the school parking lot this morning. And this is why I hate parent pickup. Because stupid stuff like this, it drives me insane. Okay? I'm not sure what's going on in this lady's life. I'm not judging her for her life choices. But I'm just saying maybe reevaluate some of them. Um, the fact that you're getting your children dressed in parent pickup instead of at home you might want to you might want to work on some time management like don't get me wrong i'm not one to talk i have horrible time management it is currently 11 30 and i'm just now starting this whipping chat and i'll explain why here in a little bit but um i have enough time management to make sure that my children are completely dressed before and I, when i say dress i don't mean like she's putting on their snow pants and stuff i mean like little billy was putting on pants in the back of their minivan okay um and i'm just like why why are we just now getting like you took your kids out of the house with no clothes on y'all just a heads up it was 11 degrees this morning 11 degrees so that means to tell me i'm guessing she must have woken up late if i had to guess she woke up late and then decided to choose violence on the parent pickup line so waiting until she got the parent pickup you know what the part you know you know what makes me so mad about this whole thing not the fact that she was getting her child dressed in parent pickup where that is slightly annoying that's not exactly what had me upset. You want to know what had me upset? After she finally does drop her child off at school, he's still putting shoes on as he's getting out of their minivan. He's still putting shoes on. And I'm like, you know, whatever. He's, you know, he was getting dressed. So obviously, he wouldn't have his shoes on. But you would think he would have them on leaving out of the car, seeing as how there's snow all over the ground. Um, That wasn't even the worst part. So she goes from the school parking lot goes to like the little stop sign that you have to stop at she turns the corner which is the same way that i'm going of course sorry i spilled drills she goes the same way that i'm going goes up the street to the third house from the school and then parks gets out and goes in the house. I'm like, you've got to be freaking kidding me. You mean to tell me you live literally right in front of the school, literally, and you had to get out of your house so quickly. Y'all, the school doesn't open until 7.30. It was 7.45. School doesn't start until 8.15. Because I know somebody's going to be like, well, maybe. No, there's no excuse for this. Besides, she chose violence on that parent pickup line this morning. And every parent that was with me in that long line that was held up because she didn't want to get little Billy dressed two houses away from the school. Y'all, look, listen. And I know I have drills mixed up in here. Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. We'll figure that out later. I just happened to see a drill that was missing from down here. So yeah, so I'm sitting there and I'm I'm flustered at this point because I'm like, dude, what the flip? But that's essentially how my week has gone so far. So hopefully yours has been better. Um, yesterday, I'm in the middle of streaming and I, I had a productive day yesterday. I was like, oh, I'm going to get so much stuff done. I took my nails off because we, are ex we were expecting an inspection yesterday. So every once in a while, when the companies get ready to like change hands, meaning they're getting ready to sell, they will... Uh, do inspections on your place. So they come to the, the townhouses and the apartment buildings to check to make sure that uh, you're keeping the house clean, checking to make sure there's no major damage from like pets or anything. Um, so they came to the house or they were coming to the house yesterday. They left us a note on Friday. And I like how they do this because they don't like to email. They don't use an emailing system. They literally like to waste paper, bringing paper and sticking it on your door with tape. Now, remember, I live in a very windy place. I live in a windy place. And they decided that they were going to leave a note on our door, which blew away. But we just happened to see it on the porch as it was trying to escape the porch. So I went over and I was like, what is this note? Go over, grab the note. 
And it was like, we are, we will, we will be conducting inspections March 20th on the apartment to make sure there's no major damage from pets, uh, natural causes, blah, blah, blah. If you have any issues, please call us, blah, blah. And I'm thinking, okay, we just got to clean the house, whatever. So I stream all day Saturday. So Saturdays are our 12 hour live streams over on Twitch. And so I streamed all day Saturday and then Sunday I was like, okay, I'm going to wake up. I'm going to get the, everybody up and running. And we're going to deep clean the house because why am I doing it by myself when there's a bunch of grown people in here? And then um, we'll be able to relax after that, maybe watch a movie with the kids or something like, you know, do something. So I get up at two o'clock <laughs> after not going to bed until four. I get to bed. I get to bed at four um, that morning and I woke up at two o'clock in the afternoon and I'm like, well, shit half my day is already gone so I get up and I go into the living room and Mr. Coffee's sitting there playing his game and I'm like um we need to clean up and he, I look around and it was already clean and I was just like hold up wait a wait a minute what the hell happened here I, I thought I was still asleep like you ever dreamed something and it seemed really real like super vivid I thought I was dreaming because Mr. Coffee getting up and cleaning on his own that is not something that happens that's just it's not a thing. That's not, no, N no. And so I'm like, um, what, what happened here? And he's like, what do you mean what happened here? And I'm like, Maggie's sitting there with him. And I was like, well, Tootsie, we got to go clean up your room. Cause we got to get ready for the people to inspect tomorrow. And she's like, mommy, my room is clean. And I'm like, Maggie, we already know that that's a lie. Like diabetes is running rampant today, apparently in the house. And we're going to need to try to find a cure for that real soon. And she's like, no, mom, daddy helped me clean it. And I was like, hold up, wait a goddamn minute. What? Don't mind Daisy. Daisy, I'm recording, ma'am. Anyways. So I'm sitting there and I'm like, um, okay. And Mr. Coffee's like, don't worry about it. I got it. And I'm like, don't worry about it. Sir, you, you never clean anything. What do you mean? Like... And it's not like he's a horrible human and he doesn't clean and he forces me to clean this entire house by myself. But given the option, he's not cleaning anything. So the fact that he had gotten up and cleaned something, I was just like, um, let me go lay back down. Because I obviously fell and bumped my head on the way down the stairs because this isn't real. So I go back up the stairs to check to see if Maggie's room was clean. It was spotless. He had scrubbed her sink her shower, her floor in her bathroom. He had mopped the floor in the bath, swept and mopped the floor in the bathroom. And I'm sitting there like, um, okay. So I go into Orion's room to tell Orion because Orion's usually a hermit. So he's usually in his room. His room usually smells like little boy farts. And I'm like, okay, we're gonna go over and get Orion up and clean his room. Open up his door. His, vac his carpet has been vacuumed. His bathroom had also been scrubbed. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, what the flip? And Orion's like, yes, mom. I'm like, did you clean your room? And he's like, yeah, dad helped me. Dad helped you. Am I missing something? And so I go back downstairs and I'm like, are you leaving me? And he's like, wait, what? And I'm like, did you just clean the house by yourself? And he's like, well, no, the kids helped me. The kids helped you. I'm like, okay, obviously I need to go lay back down because I know that's a goddamn lie. There ain't no way in hell that these kids helped you when I can't even get Maggie to pick up her socks on Sundays when it's time to do laundry and she has socks all over in the living room. So I was like, what do you mean they helped you? So I didn't have to clean anything. He goes, I just wanted you to relax because I know those 12 hour streams take a lot out of you. So I figured you could relax today. And I'm thinking, yeah, he's leaving me. He's he's definitely leaving me. I, I He's leaving. <laughs> what the hell? Now you're cleaning by yourself with the kids? You're leaving, aren't you? And he's like, I'm not leaving. Where am I going? And I'm like, I don't know, but why would you clean and do nice things? And again, it's not like he doesn't do nice things. He just doesn't do them often. And so when he does, I get afraid because why are you doing the nice things? And a lot of you are probably thinking or saying out loud, he probably wants something. You would be wrong. He didn't want anything. This dude straight up got up, cleaned the house, scrubbed all four bathrooms. And I say four, and for those who know, we have five, but the fifth one doesn't get used because it's in a spare room. But he scrubbed all four bathrooms, spick and span, cleaned the kitchen, swept and mopped the floor in the kitchen, and had already started laundry for the week. And I'm like, what the flip? 
Now, my lazy tail would have still been cleaning, but somehow he woke up at a decent time, even though I went to bed before he did. He woke up at a decent... I'm honestly wondering if he actually even went to sleep because he literally had the entire house, like, spick and span by the time I had woken up at 2 o'clock, and I was just like, what the flip? So I was like, um, all right. He goes, well, you said you wanted to draw something today because you hadn't been drawing because you've been... I've been experiencing a little bit of um, art burnout. And so I had been fussing about wanting to really draw something. And he's like, well, why don't you draw something? And you have the afternoon. And he's like, I even pulled out stuff for dinner. You don't have to worry about trying to guess what we want for dinner. Um, you can just cook the pork chops that I have in the, the, the sink. And I was just like, something's definitely wrong here. Something, this, I'm in the freaking twilight zone. Like, has your spouse or roommate or somebody ever done this where they've done something that they don't typically do and you're starting to question their motives like are you going to murder me and then try to make it out like I you know am whatever or something like are you leaving me uh why are you this way like why why did you do all of this not that I wasn't grateful I was just concerned because again this isn't something typically that Mr. Coffee does matter of fact he's just as bad as the kids when it comes to times like this where the complex needs to come into the house and I go okay well why don't we clean up a little bit now take it my house is not a museum so it's not going to be perfect but I like to at least have it looking and smelling good for when folks come in here not that it doesn't look or smell good any other time but just a little bit extra you know what I mean so the fact that he cleaned with the kids, I was super happy. And I'm like, it's going to be a good freaking week. Boy, was I wrong. Um, So I was just like, all right, bet. So I sit down yesterday. Yesterday was Monday. I sit down and I go, okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to, what, what did I do Monday? Oh, I was streaming. So I was streaming yesterday. And I'm minding my own crafty business. We're having a good old time. I'm drawing and everybody's like working on their diamond paintings and stuff and you know, we're just chit-chatting, and I told them before I started streaming, I vacuumed the house again because the dogs are shedding, and the ferrets or someone has taken the dog brush, and I can't find it. I'm 99% sure that it's upstairs in Maggie's toy box, but if you've seen that toy box, um, yeah. So, I'm sitting there, and I'm like, all right, let's see, um what all I need to do today. And I had needed to order some Walmart stuff. So I ordered, I placed an order for Walmart and I figured it would get there while I was streaming and I could just pause the stream quick to go get the stuff from Walmart. And I did. And so I ordered some things. Now we had ran out of milk on Saturday and I was fussing with Mr. Coffee, which is probably why he cleaned the house out without me asking. Um, I was fussing with him because he usually takes care of the kids on Saturdays while I'm streaming. And somehow he didn't notice that the milk was gone. And so, and of course, the kids don't tell you nothing. Even after it's gone, sometimes they don't say anything. They just wait till they need it again, and then they go, by the way, we don't have this. Also, it's like 2 in the morning. Also, we just want to make this the most inconvenient thing for you. So the fact that they uh, didn't say anything to him, and he didn't pay attention, I was a little upset. I'm not going to lie, because I'm sitting there like, dude, what do I, like, you didn't notice there was no milk? I went to go get cereal after I streamed and there was no milk and I was sad. So I was like, you know, I was sad. So I was like, uh, yeah, you're gonna have to go get milk, buddy. So I made him stop playing this game to go get milk because we didn't have any. And I was like, how are the kids supposed to have breakfast in the morning? The kids on Sundays typically like to have a uh, cereal. So I had to order more milk because he did go out Saturday to get milk, but I needed more milk. So I was like, okay, I'll just order some from Walmart because I have some things I need to order. So... I'm sitting there, and again, don't worry. I know that there's some mix-ups in here. Um, I accidentally mixed drills, but I know which drills go where, so we're good, we're good. So I'm sitting there, and I'm like, all right. Um, I'm just going to start stream, and then once the guy comes, I'll pause stream to go get the groceries. So I'm streaming, we're having a good time, and I get the notification that somebody's at the door, and I'm like, ooh, it's my delivery. And the guy, I see the guy putting the groceries on the, the, the porch. And I was like, all right, so you guys, I'm going to pause you. I'm going to go get my groceries. And then all of a sudden he gives me a phone call. And I'm thinking, why are you calling me? You put my stuff on the porch. Like my, my instructions literally say, put the stuff on the porch. So I didn't understand why he was calling. So I was sitting there and I'm like, um, hello. 
And he's like, hi, this is such and such from the delivery. And I'm like, hi, yeah, I, I see you. Um, I'm working, so I can't really come to the door right now, which is why I asked you to leave it at the on the porch. He goes, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, your milk is leaking. He says it as if I brought the milk to my own house. And I'm like, um, okay. He's like, yeah, your milk is leaking. What, what do you want me to, he's like, what do you want me to do about this? Uh, go, go get me another milk, maybe? Maybe, maybe that's something that you can do. And he's like, um, I don't know what to do about that. And I'm like, you, you would, you would go get me another milk. You brought me a busted one. So you're going to want to go get me one that's not busted because you somehow were able to walk across an entire store with a jug of busted milk. And if it wasn't busted at the store, that means it busted in your car and you probably have milk all in your trunk. So you're going to want to go ahead and, um, yeah, you're going to want to go ahead and go replace my milk. Now take it. I had ordered two gallons of milk. So it wasn't like he didn't bring any of the milk. He did bring a gallon of it. So I was like, yeah, you're going to want to go ahead and uh, just go back and get me another milk. He goes, well, I'll see what, what Walmart wants to do about it. And I'm thinking, what do you mean? Just go get me another milk. So he goes, okay, I'll try to go get you another milk. And I was like, okay, I'm not sure how you have to try to do that, but whatever. So I was like, all right. So I paused the stream, got the groceries that he did bring in, and I put those away. And then I go back to streaming, and I'm sitting there staring at my doorbell, waiting for this guy to come back. How many people want to guess if the delivery guy came back? If you guessed he didn't, you're right. So this dude straight up never came back, never called me for anything. Like, just straight up tried to deliver a jug of busted milk to my house. There is milk spilled all over my, my sidewalk outside. And he literally didn't do anything. He, he literally put it in the trash can outside and then left. And then that was it. Like, just left. And I was like, you've got to be freaking kidding me. Now take it. I will always tip them good because if I'm too lazy to go out to the store and somebody else is willing to weather the, the, the weather to bring me groceries, I'm going to tip you good because you deserve it because this is what, you know, this, this is your job. And your job is essentially to go out and inclement weather and deliver groceries. So I'm going to tip you well because I'm too lazy to do it myself. So the fact that you're doing it for me, thank you. Y'all, I've never wanted to retract a tip so bad in my entire life. I was like, you've got to be freaking kidding me. Luckily, like I said, I already had a milk. So I was fine. Um, but I now still need another milk because these kids go through milk like it's, like it's water. Like they just go through it real quick. And so I was just like, well, I'll just guess I'll have to go get another milk later on. Like, I guess fuck me then. I, I, I don't know what to do here. So I was like, all right, whatever. And so then the rest of the day, the rest of the day wasn't too bad. Um, I got to watch some weird YouTube videos with Maggie. Maggie watched, like, kids watch the weirdest stuff on YouTube. Like, and the weirdest people make this stuff. Like, I'm, a lot of times you hear people go, my kids watch weird stuff on YouTube. What about the folks making this stuff, okay? What about the folks that are literally out here making these videos? It was a video of two people as Minecraft characters building, excuse me, houses and then setting traps for one another. I, I don't, I don't know, but I sat there and watched it with my mouth wide open for like two hours. And then Mr. Coffee finally said he was coming home and Maggie has been begging for cheddar broccoli soup. And I'm like, dude, I am so sick of cheddar broccoli soup. It's one of the few things she'll eat, so I've been making it. But it's like we have it every freaking week now. And I'm like, dude, you're going to have to pick another menu item because I'm getting tired of cheddar broccoli soup. And poor Orion. Orion doesn't eat broccoli. Orion's the opposite of Maggie. Orion will eat anything. Um, but he doesn't eat broccoli. So, of course, that means you got to find something else for him to eat while everybody else is enjoying cheddar broccoli soup. So... I make sure that when I place that order that I got like raviolis and stuff because that's usually what he likes to eat when he can't eat the main course meal that I make. He'll eat like raviolis or something. So I got him some of those. He was pretty happy with it. So I was like, all right, whatever. But this cheddar broccoli soup every week thing, look, listen, it's for the birds. It's for the birds. I can't, if I have to eat another bite of cheddar broccoli soup, I'm going to start pissing cheddar broccoli soup. 
So I was like, okay, we gotta figure out another menu. Item. She's like, chili? No, no, we had chili last week. No, we're not doing this. She literally, like, the things that she will eat, she wants them repetition. Like, she wants chili, she wants uh, sausage pasta, which is like sausage alfredo and penne pasta. Um, then she wants cheddar broccoli soup or any dish made with broccoli. And I think she does it now out of spite because she knows her brother hates it. Um, so I'm, I'm wondering if she's only eating this stuff out of spite because she knows he hates it and he doesn't like it. I don't know. Either way, I was upset about my milk, but I figured I can just go buy Walmart at some point because I had some packages I needed to take to UPS. Now, Fast forward to this morning. Last night, like I said, it was last night was last night. So fast forward to this morning. I'm sitting there and I'm like, all right. It's a cute speckled look, but you can tell there's drills mixed in. Um, so this morning, I'm sitting there and I go, okay, so I have been I have been promising a, a subscriber of mine that I would send them out a kit. I did send it out this morning, but I also had, you guys remember, Sidewalk Weber. Y'all remember the jacket, right? It didn't fit. So I had to send it back. Which for those folks that were curious or wondering, because I did have, and I knew there would be somebody that would say something. Um, and somebody did. They were like, watch out because some of those folks have been getting people's roaches and all this other stuff. The items that I got for the try it or buy it um, thing from Amazon were brand new. Tags still on them. Uh, the full line still in them uh still in plastic which you know the company could have did it themselves but it looked they all looked brand new i didn't see any bugs or any weird things in them so uh, i was a little paranoid but it was fine like everything was brand new everything smelled brand new so i was like you know whatever so i try on both jackets the one jacket had potential until like i realized that the outside of the jacket is a it's like a material that would soak up water so to say and with all the snow we have here um, that's not a jacket necessarily that you would wear outside. So I was like, that's, that's kind of pointless. The inside is warm and could help hold up possibly to the snow, but the outside would get drenched. And I'm like, no, I don't want a cloth jacket. I want it like a regular jacket that's going to keep me warm in the winter. Like, how hard is this? Apparently it's harder than Chinese algebra on a Sunday night before an exam. So I'm like, God dang it. So I didn't get a jacket yet. I'm still shopping, I guess. I had found a jacket, but when I went to go check to see what was taking the jacket so long to get here, it said that it had been delayed and will be delivered April 27th or the 21st through the 27th. And I'm like, you can suck a fat one on that one. I kind of need it right now. We're in our blizzard season. So where most people have hurricane season or rainy seasons, we have blizzard season. That is what spring is, which by the way, happy spring. <laughs> Spring wear. Spring spring has taken a break, okay? My kids were on spring break last week, and spring has taken a break this week because there's no spring. We're getting snow right now. As I'm speaking to you in this video, it is literally snowing. Where is spring? Where Where is spring? So I'm like, I don't, I, I don't understand what's happening outside. All I know is I just want a warm jacket. And all, all my Walmart is selling is bathing suits. JC Penney's is the only other shopping place around here. And all they have are like two jackets that people have been like trying on for like the last three months. And I'm like, I just want a warm jacket. Is that too much to ask? A warm jacket. The Columbia jacket that I was going to order was nice. It was thin and it had like this aluminum foil type things in it. It was like, allows heat to stay in. Mm. Not the kind of heat that I need because it sucked when I took it outside. So I was like, uh, no. Because whatever I get has to be able to withstand wind. Because we get a lot of wind here. And that jacket was not withstanding wind. Let me just tell you that right now. It was not withstanding any type of wind of North Dakota standards. So I was like, god dang it. So there was that. I'm concerned at the fact that this blue dot doesn't want to go completely in here anyways so I had to return the jacket and I meant to do it yesterday but I was procrastinating and I got lazy 
and I really need to get out of this whole lazy mode, but it's hard when you're lazy to actually try to do things productive. Like I have spurts of productiveness and then I get super lazy and I'm like, what the hell? Um, I also had to make sure I took a, a Rona test last night because I've been coughing for no reason. No reason. And so I got a little paranoid. So I took a Rona test and it came back uh, negative. So I was like, yay, I don't have Rona. So why am I coughing? There's nothing to have allergies for because there's snow all over everything. Unless I'm allergic. You know what? Maybe I'm allergic to snow. Can you be allergic to snow? I know I have plenty of nurses and doctors that watch me. So maybe y'all guys can answer that question for me because I'm, I'm wondering if I can be allergic to snow because I feel like I might have an intolerance to snow. Sorry, I'm still messing with this glue dot. Anyways. So, yeah, see, I don't like the fact that it's like, can I, can I rip that off? Like, can I shove some of it in and then rip the rest of it off? Is that how you're supposed to do it? I feel like that's how you're supposed to do it. Because that's what I'm about to do anyways. So we're just going to take it and we're going to rip it off. There we go. Boom. Perfect. There we go. Dang it. Oh, well, at least it comes off the canvas good. That's a plus. Um, that's one reason why I don't like putties is because if you touch your canvas with it, that putty is never coming off that canvas. Just know that. That putty is never coming off that canvas. You'll never see it again. Anyways, so I had to return the jacket and I had to get this canvas out because I had been promising this person this canvas for weeks and I have not gotten it out yet. So I was like, I'm getting it out this week. So I box it up. I measure it. I weigh it and see the glue dot keeps coming out. I measure it, I weigh it, and it's one of those things that we just had our UPS store shut down. Like it's shut down, it's no more. They're not, uh, it works better in this tip. Like I literally have some in this tip. It works better in this tip, and I don't remember what I did to get it to work better in here. I think it's just because it's older. Anyways, but the UPS store where I live shut down, right? And so I'm like, okay, so what are we supposed to do about packages? Because just because you shut down, does it stop UPS from having people around our town that have UPS packages, especially if you get anything from Amazon? And the UPS trucks still come around here and stuff, but apparently there's no drop-off place. And if you're going to drop off a package, it better be small because it's got to fit in a little tiny box. And the packages that I send off are not small. So I'm like, where the hell am I supposed to put these? So I'm thinking, oh, okay, I know where there's a drop-off point. There's one over by the building where we get our eyes checked out. So I go over there and I try to put this gigantic bag that has two jackets in it in it because the, the other box is not going to fit. Like the Diamond Art Club box was not going to fit. So I was like, let me just try to put this other bag in there then. Try to put it in there. Nope. It was not going in there. I was like, God dang it. Well, where am I supposed to take my packages? The other store closed down. And so I'm like, okay, we'll just find another drop-off location. But if all the drop-off locations have the same size box, then what's the point? So I was like, okay, so I got to figure out another plan. So I decided to go to the depot where the, the UPS trucks come from. Problem is, I haven't been there in forever. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to get lost. Luckily, I was recording my vlog, and that tends to keep me calm because I'm talking. So I, I was recording the vlog clip as I'm, like, looking for this place. I got lost and then found my way out of where I was lost at and then f saw a UPS truck coming from down this frontage road. And I was like, oh, that's where UPS is. So I go down the road, and I see all these trucks. And they, they must have known that I was coming to drop off a package because they had their bay doors open. And as soon as they saw my car, they closed the bay doors. I'm like, you sons of... Oof. So I'm driving around. Now take it. This whole ordeal took like three hours. Because one, why does it? why is doing anything with your printer troubleshooting wise? Why does it take all day? I couldn't get my commute. We got new, we didn't get new internet, but we got new router because we got a new router and it changed the, they changed the name of the internet and stuff. 
my my printer wasn't uh and it still isn't it's not connected to my my laptop because i use wi-fi i don't hardwire it so because it's not connected to the, the wi-fi i was like oh crap now take it i've had this printer for years and so i'm like how the hell do i reconnect this thing to the the, the wi-fi that took me two hours to figure out and i still didn't get it figured out i just connected it to my phone and printed it off that way so i was like whatever and so I still got to figure that part out later on. And so I was like, well, for right now, this works and this is what I'm going to use. So whatever. So I'm sitting there and I'm like, okay, so let's go figure out where to drop this off at. I spent another hour and a half driving around in the car. I didn't even record it the entire time just because I just spent most of the time going, where the hell is UPS? So I'm in the car. I'm driving around. I can't find the building. I see all these UPS trucks and I'm like, okay. This is the place. So I get out and they start closing the bay doors again. And I'm like, there was like two other bay doors that they didn't close when I first pulled up that they started closing. And I'm like, oh my God, like, where do I drop this package off at? And I don't know why they closed the UPS store near me, but they did. And I'm just like, okay, where am I supposed to just, where, where, where do I put these then? Like, I don't understand. Like, are we never going to be able to use UPS in our town again? Like, is that what's happening? Because how the hell am I supposed to know where to put these things? So I happened to just be pulling out of the parking lot there and a driver was uh, getting ready to leave. Like he was logging something and I just happened to like honk my horn at him and pull my window down. I was like, hi, sorry, can you tell me where we are supposed to drop off packages at? Because I don't know where to drop off packages. He goes, oh, well, you can just drop them off at the drop off locations. I'm like, well, my packages are a little bit bigger than that, so I can't. He goes, oh, okay. Um, normally you could just sit them next to it. And I'm like, okay, okay, y'all make, make this make sense. If you're returning something, right, and you, you don't want to get charged for it, so you, you must return it to not get charged. Are you going to leave it in a very public place right next to a receptacle for UPS, hoping and praying that somebody doesn't steal it? There were two very expensive jackets in that, U, that Amazon thing. And then I'm pretty sure if Spins found out that somebody stole her diamond painting, I'm pretty sure she'd be a little upset, okay? But I'm supposed to just leave this package out in front of a mailbox and hope that by 5.30 it's still sitting there. Hope that the wind doesn't blow it into the middle of the road where a car could run over it because cars around here typically do stuff like that. I'm supposed to just, you know, just leave it. And I'm thinking... Uh, no, that's not what we're doing. We're not going to just leave it in the middle of nowhere. So I was like, okay. He goes, you can just leave it over here on this one. So he takes the packages, luckily, from me. Because he's like, you know what, I'll just take them. And I was like, thank you so much. Y'all, I spent three hours of my morning just trying to get my packages to UPS. I finally get them there and I go, okay, now I got to go home and record videos and all this. So, yeah. Y'all, I'm not even joking you. I was home five minutes after that whole ordeal. Because at first I was like, okay, I'm just going to schedule a pickup. Because I don't want to keep running around looking for this store and I have stuff to do today. They wanted to charge me $15 for a pickup. And I was like, I'm not paying $15 for a freaking pickup. Luckily I didn't because I, I was able to get the guy to take my package. Now, with that said, I'm, I come back to the house. And I go, okay, I need to make my coffee. I got a package in for my good friend, Verander. Uh, my friend, Verander, is an amazing artist. He's freaking insane, you guys. Um, for those folks who, again, sorry I keep mentioning it, but for those folks who follow me over on Twitch, you know Verander. And uh, we did a 12-hour live stream where I introduced him to the coffee beans. And you guys seem to really like him. And I love that because he's one of my really, really good friends from over on Twitch. He's one of the mentors I have, one of many that I have over on Twitch. And so when he did a 12-hour live stream with us, uh, if y'all remember, he drew a picture with coffee. Like, legit drew a picture with coffee. And then sent it to me. And I got it out of the mailbox this morning. So I was super happy to see that. And if you did not see that live, that's okay. Not everybody's going to come over to Twitch. So, you know, I'm just going to have to show it again. 
and I don't mind showing it again, but look at it. Literally, this is, I, I want to say it's sketched in like a pen. He loves using big pens. So I'm going to say it's sketched in a pen. And then the all the brown you're seeing, all the brown is coffee. And I was like, oh my God. And of course, Angel Roxy, our little mascot. There she is with her little tablet and her Apple pencil. And I got like this little coffee uh, thing on my shirt over here. And of course, we got the bougie nails because you know your girl's got to have the bougie nails. So we love to see it. And this is his character for me. So whenever he draws you, whenever you're a new follower to him or something, he has this little book and he sketches a picture of you. And this is my character. I'm his. I'm one of his OCs apparently, which means original character. Um, it's a bag of coffee. And then there's my shoe. <laughs> so there's that one. And then for Mario Day, which was March 10th, M-A-R-1-0, Mario, get it? You're welcome. For Mario Day, he drew this. Now, Veronda also likes to draw on black paper with white ink. And so he drew this. And I thought it was the coolest thing ever. So I bought it. And this is the original, meaning this is the one. Because he, he did prints and then he, there was an original. This was the original one. Like, he literally had his hand all over this. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to need to buy that. So there's that. And then he sent me a couple of extras. So also while he was on the stream with us, uh, we have a booty heart redeem over there where you can get a booty heart redeemed and the style that you want. And he did this one. And it's Dolphin. I don't remember who he did this one for. I want to say it was Jasper's mom. I want to say it might have been Stephanie. I'm not 100% sure. But he did a booty heart in traditional, which is hard to do. I'm just going to put that out there. And he also made me another little foxy. So huge thank yous to Veronda for the awesome care package. I love it. I can't wait to get these hung up in the craft room. So I was super, super happy to see those. And I'm not going to lie about these glue dots. Minus it not staying in, they do stay tacky. Like, I can't get it to stay in. And again, it's because I'm new and I'm pretty sure those who are, use glue dots are yelling at their screen telling me what to do. But remember, I can't hear you. Um, so I'm going to contact uh, Jenny and ask her, like, you know, hey, how do I keep it? How do I keep it in there? Because it keeps coming out and it won't stay in. So, yeah. But if you like glue dots, try Jenny's uh, sparkly scented glue dots over on Etsy. And see, when I put this, when I put it in this one, it stayed in. But for some reason, it doesn't want to stay in this one. Like, it's still in this one. But for some reason, it stays in this one, no problem. But it won't stay in this other one. I don't understand. Also, I do like them in the multi-placers. So I might just use it for multi-placers. So yeah. So I finally, my, my whole UPS debacle. It, it took most of my morning. So I now have to rush, get this up. And then continue on about my day because today is parent um, meeting day. So we have our spring parent teacher conferences. Now the parent teacher conferences here very much could be an email. But they like to waste your time and your gas to make you go see them so that they can tell you that your child is doing well. And I'm like, half the time I'm like, if, if she's not doing anything like too extravagant, then I'm fine. With Maggie, Maggie has an IEP, which is an individual academic plan, because she has, like, speech therapy and all this other stuff. And now that she's coming out of her seizure stuff, um, we're checking to see where she's at academically. Because right now, I want to say she's doing way better than she was before. I seriously think that her medication was doing something to her mind or, like, just altering it a bit to make it slow down. Because the way she couldn't read before she started or the way she couldn't read when she was on her medication, and now she can read just fine. Like, I'm not even joking you. She can read just fine. And I'm just like, how? How is that possible? Like, you couldn't read a week ago, and then we take you off your meds, and all of a sudden, you love to read. And she even said it to you guys on a Friday Night Live. I love reading. It's my favorite. Whose child is this? Because this ain't my child, because she just said reading is her favorite. So I was very confused and kerfluffled at that. Um, but 
I would like to see how Maggie's doing in school now without having her medication, at least the one medication. She still has the second medication, which is the pills, and she doesn't get taken off the pills until uh, next month. So next month we take her, or I call the doctor and they go, how is she doing? She's doing fine. Okay, let's start taking her off the pills. And so she'll get taken off the pills next month. And by the end of April, she'll be completely pill free. And we will have to keep a very close eye on her to make sure that there's no happenings uh, from like any signs of seizures or anything for like the next six months. Um, they have you wait six months just to just to kind of make sure because sometimes these things can be a little bit tricky so yeah she's excited for that um also again i feel like it needs to be said i want to say thank you to everyone who understood my situation this past friday with friday night live i know some of y'all went looking for the live just a heads up there wasn't one i did not go live on youtube on friday i went live on twitch with a friend of mine's and thank you to those who understood. I really appreciate it. I know not everybody was happy with that decision, but I sometimes have to do what's good for me sometimes. And I, where I would love to sit and always have the energy to go live and be on 100% of the time, sometimes I just don't. And it, it was a rough afternoon. And so the fact that I canceled the live, which is the first time in a while that I've had to cancel a Friday Night Live, which was gonna get canceled anyway, even if my friend hadn't offered me to come up with him, um, just cause I wasn't feeling the best cause mentally I have been worn out because Maggie has been driving me crazy. Um, and see now I got all the whites out of there. So now it's just the one color. So this is how I separate my colors nowadays, especially when there's not a lot of colors mixed in with it. So yeah, so Maggie's been driving me crazy because of the not eating thing and throwing fits when she doesn't get what she wants and then calling everybody bad people because... We're not doing what she wants when she wants us to. Um, mentally, I've been exhausted. Just freaking exhausted. And I haven't said anything just because I figured it would pass. And it did. I knew it would. But I really, really had a rough day on Friday. And my friend offered me to come up and hang out with him on his stream. And I was like, you know what? I can do that. It's better than nothing. And I know a few coffee beans are over on Twitch. And so if nothing else they can enjoy that, or if they don't do Twitch, I will see them next week. It's literally one day. I'm not changing or canceling the Friday Night Lives. It was one day. Um, like I said, there were a few people that were upset about it, and sorry, not sorry. Again, I have to do what's best for me, and I'm not really in the position half the time to be like, you know what, I'm going to take the night off because I know I'm disappointing people, and I don't like doing that. And Friday, that's how you know I wasn't in a good headspace because I didn't care. I didn't care, and I was just like, I just need I need a break from it tonight. So that's what I did. Um, so, yeah, so thank you to those folks who understood, to those who didn't. Uh, uh, sorry? Not really, I guess? I don't know. I don't know what the right thing to say there is because if you don't understand why somebody's doing something for their mental health and you're only worried about yourself, then that sounds like a you problem. Anyways, so again, thank you to those folks who understood. Um, we're going to get through this white section at least before we go. I know it's past our hour point, but I want to get through this white section here. So yeah, but anyways, so I didn't go live Friday. I will be live this Friday. Um... Just because I don't like taking off more than one Friday at a time anyways. Like, I'm not going to be taking off like three or four. Not unless I absolutely have to. Um, I'm not going to be taking off a bunch of Fridays. So, I will be back this Friday. So don't worry. And I have some of those grays in here as well. So, you'll see some of those colors in here. Not a lot of them. Just enough to be annoying. I accidentally put the white in with the gray because it's so close in color. And didn't realize until after I had already did it. And then I was like, forget it. I'll just separate it as I go. So that's what I was just doing. I need the letter N because I see one right here that needs to be taken care of. And I think the next kit I'm going to work on is going to be that Adventures of Gumball kit. I think it's called Gumball. Um, if you're new to diamond painting, you have no clue what that kit is. If you're not new to diamond painting and you've been here with me for a long time, you know exactly which kit that is. That is the Gumball kit that Diamond Art Club had years ago that um, is highly sought after. 
And I figure if I work on it, people will stop asking, can they purchase it? I really, really want to get through this kit because it represents the people in my house or the pets in my house. And so I was like, okay, I really want to work on this kit. The problem is all these bangers keep coming out. And that's what makes it hard to get through your stash is all these banger kits keep coming out. And you're like, oh, I'm going to work on this, this piece that's from like three years ago. And then boom, another release comes out and you're like, okay, never mind. I'm going to work on this. Like, does anybody else struggle with picking out what they're going to work on? Because every time they want to work on one thing, the new releases come out and you're like, okay, maybe I should work on this. That's what I'm going through right now. And so I'm trying to stay strong. <laughs> I'm trying to hold on to the hope that I will get through this gumball kit. And I also got some Mooney made kits that I'll be unboxing next week. Um, they came in already, but um, I have to keep my schedule the same because the algorithm of YouTube has finally put me back in its good graces. And I don't want to keep, if I add more videos than my normal videos, uh, they will, they will uh, think that that's the new schedule I have. And they'll push me until that one week I go back to my normal schedule. And then they're like, what is she doing? She's inconsistent. We're not going to push her videos anymore. So I have to keep my videos consistent. So you guys will get the Mooney Maid unboxing next week. Um, I think like Wednesday next week or something. Maybe Monday. No, because no, I haven't been put up posting on Monday. I'll have to figure it out. But you guys will get a Mooney Maid unboxing. Um, I was finally able to get a hold of her kits. And good gravy were they expensive. Um... And I also got a Jade's Gym Shop kit, which I also want to really work on because that's another company I have not worked on yet. Um, I was just told that they're better than Diamond Art Club, and I want to see if this is correct. From what I can tell so far, um, I, I think I think people are looking for really good kits, and they compare them to Diamond Art Club because they know that that's primarily what I work on, and. To say that I'm biased on Domino Art Club would be an understatement. I am biased because they're my favorite kits to work on, obviously. And if you get to work on your favorite kits and not have to try all these random kits and companies, uh, then creators should be able to work on the kits that they like as well. You know, we're, we'll try other kits from other places, but it doesn't necessarily mean that that's all we should be doing is just always trying other kits. Like, we can, you know, take time to enjoy kits that we like to enjoy. So that's that's what I've been doing. And there was nothing spectacular that had came out that made me want to go like, oh, let me try this other company. Um, I worked on a little bit of the Oraloa kit. The squares on it were amazing. Um, but I needed to get through that kit because of the Angel Roxy kit and everything. So, like, I handed that over. Um, and it did get completed. I do have it here at the house. Um... And from what I heard from the person that completed it, there was no issues with it or anything like that because I had my friend Elisa complete it for me. Um, I did like the bottom row and a little bit of the top or a little bit of the next section and then she completed it for me. And so I could do a post review on it, but I'm not sure if you like, I, I guess I've never done a post review of Oraloa, so it might be a good idea to do one on that kit. Um, I, I At this point, I just want to work on it enough that I get a feel for the drills and then uh, I send it off to a completer. Now, I'll just give you a heads up. Please don't message me asking me to be a completer because uh, I have enough of them. But thank you. I appreciate your offers. Um, but I have the people that are completing kits doing them for me. So, I again, I appreciate the offers. But I already have the folks that I need. I don't need any more. I don't need backups because I already have backups. Um, so, yeah. So, there's that. Um... Oh, I didn't finish the the UPS thing. So yeah, so I I did hand off the packages to UPS, which I'll have to message spin so I can give them their tracking number. And then I come home, I sit down, and I go, okay, what do I need to do? I got my package from Vor, and I unboxed it. Did like a little reel for your, for uh, did a reel for Instagram for it. And then I was like, okay, I need to record my whip and chat. So I sit down to record my whip and chat. Right, as, right before I go to hit record, there's a ring at the doorbell. And I'm going, oh, well, who's at the door? I go to the door thinking it's the complex because I'm figuring the complex is supposed to be coming in to, you know, check the house. Well, I forgot. They came in yesterday. The, the complex did come in yesterday. The problem is they came in when I wasn't home. And, again, I don't like people in my house when I'm not home. Um... So I don't put my dogs away because I figured if you're willing to be dumb enough to come into my house with my dogs out, then you're willing to get bit. So 
let's go to that. that i know i'm jumping all over the place today i do apologize that's just the way my brain's working anyways so i was at the kids at school i get a ring at the doorbell and it's my maintenance man jamal and he's like hey you know do you need anything and i'm like no no did i call for something and he's like, no, we're doing maintenance checks. And I was like, oh, no, I'm good. Um, but you can go in if you want to. Like, if you need to go take a look around and stuff, like, I can walk you guys through quick. And he goes, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. How long are you going to take to get here? And I'm like, oh, no, I'm just going to walk you through the house. Don't worry about it. Just, um, they're going to have to stand outside because there was, like, two other people with them, um, which are the uh, apartment people. And I'm like, they're going to have to stand outside, Jamal, until you get the dogs put away. And he goes, all right. Now, this man has been trusted enough in my house that my dogs know him and uh, will respond to him if he gives them commands. Um, so he opens the front door and I tell him to tell the dogs to go into their cages and he tells them to go into their cages because of course they're at the door growling and he tells, he tells them to go into their cages and he closes the cages and I pop up on my Echo. Now I have an Echo device in almost every house in the, the or every room in the house, okay? So I pop up on the Echo device because I have the, the app on my phone. And I was like, all right. And I'm yelling at the dogs to get in their cages and he's getting them put in. And I'm like, okay, now they can come in. So uh, they come in and I just hear somebody go, ooh, it smells good in here. The lady's like, it always smells good in here. And she has ferrets. And I'm like, yeah, the ferrets are probably sleeping. And she's like, can we pet them? I'm like, you can pet them. They don't bite. So the lady goes and I guess Gumball or Anna, whichever one, woke up and like came over to the cage. And they were like, oh my God, they're so cute. And the guy goes, do they come out of the cage? I'm like, sometimes. I'm like, they're not cooped up in the cage all day, if that's what you mean. He's like, oh, okay. And he writes something down. And the lady goes, oh, she's had these since they moved in here. Like they, they're, they're grandfathered in with these. And he's like, oh, okay. He was writing a note that I had more pets than I was supposed to. Um, in fact, I have not had them since I moved in here, but the people that were in the apartment complex before that had the, that owned the property knew we had them and didn't have a problem with them because we kept our house clean and they didn't cause any damage or trouble. So they didn't give us any grief about having the ferrets. And so when the new company bought them out, um, they knew we had them. They just don't give us grief because they don't tear up anything. So I'm like, if anything, these kids tear up more than these animals do. So y'all should be like, you know, trying to get these kids out of here. I'm just saying. So they walk it through to the living room and the guy goes, there's a hole in your floor. I'm like, oh yeah, there's a hole. So one of the boards underneath our carpet, I guess, has a hole or something in it. So you can feel like a noticeable like dip in the carpet right there. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, that's been there since we moved in. He goes, it's on your paperwork. And I'm like, yep. And so he goes into the kitchen and he's looking around. He goes, is there any damage to the kitchen? And they're looking around at the cabinets and everything. I'm like, no, but if you put your hand in that cabinet right now, you could probably feel a nice cool breeze. And he's like, what do you mean? I'm like, oh, these houses aren't properly insulated. So uh, literally you can feel a cool breeze coming from underneath the cabinets. So I was like, just open any cabinet and stick your hand in there once. So he opens one of the cabinets and sure enough, he could, he's like, I can literally feel a small breeze. And he's like, is that supposed to be like that? And the lady looks and she goes, I don't think so. Uh, no, the answer is no. It's not supposed to give you a breeze when you open your cabinets. So he's like, we should probably write that down as to something to look into. And I'm like, what are you going to do? Tear the house down and rebuild it while I'm in it? Like, what? So then they come back to the craft room. So I switch devices and I come into the craft room. I'm like, all right, now I have a big Echo Show on my desk over here. And so all they see is my big face sitting in the car and they're like, oh God. I'm like, sorry, didn't mean to scare you. And he's like, do you have one of those in every room of your house? Yep. I'm like, for just this reason. So he's walking through the house and he's like, you know, what is this room? I'm like, this is the second living room slash my office. I'm like, I stream and I do YouTube. So this is where I do all that from. I also sell Scentsy. So that's why there's a Scentsy box over there with stuff in it. I'm like, again, this isn't a museum. We literally live here. Like this house is very lived in. And he's like, okay. He goes, that's why your house smells so good. I'm like, well, yeah, and I clean it. Like, it, it gets clean, so it, it's going to smell good. So he's like, okay. So he's like, okay, we're going to move it upstairs. So I move up to the upstairs Echo, which is in my bedroom. They open the door, and they're like, this is the master. And I'm like, yep, this is the master. Scared to piss out of him again. He's like, oh, my God. I'm like, sorry. I, I literally have one of these in every room of the house. And he's like, okay. Huh. 
and he's like looking around he's opening like you know doors and making sure i'm like there's there's no damage to the upstairs at all i would like to ask though what's in that crawl space above my bed and he's like oh i don't know i don't think anybody's ever been up there i'm like hmm peculiar because we've been wondering that and there's a light for up there but nobody knows what's up there and my husband doesn't want to go up there and he's like yeah i wouldn't worry about it you wouldn't worry about it because you don't stay awake at night staring at it, wondering if there's somebody living up there eating all your food. But okay. So then they move into Maggie's room. And I move to her Echo. And I'm like, okay, so this is my daughter's room. And they look around and they're like, okay, so there's no damage. No, you know, this is a child's room. So there's no markers on the wall or anything like that. I'm like, she's 10. <laughs> That's all I say. I was like, she's 10. No, there's no, where Mar Maggie will color on her clothes. She will not color on the, my kids have never been the ones to color on the wall. Like that's just not a thing that they did. So they were like, okay. So then they leave her room. They go to Orion's room and I switch echoes again. And I'm like, this is my son's room. And they're like, there's a lot of electronics in here. I'm like, there are, which is why I don't like people in my house when we're not home. And they're like, okay. So they're looking around his bedroom. They don't see any damage. They're like, the countertop is coming up. Now the countertop in Matt Orion's bathroom I'm thinking he got it really wet one day and left the water sitting there and it warped the vinyl or whatever they have on the countertop because it's coming up. Essentially, it needs to be glued back down. And so the guy's like, uh, how long has this been like this? I'm like, I don't know. I don't sleep in this room. I don't typically come in here unless I need to. He cleans and does everything on his own. He's 12. And they're like, oh, okay. So... They're like looking around and they're like, okay, let's, what's in this other room? And I'm like, that's our spare guest room, which is also my second office. And they open the door. Y'all, the way his eyes got big. One, see my big face right when he opened the door because the echo sits right there on the ledge of the windowsill. And two, seeing all the diamond paintings sitting all over the floor. He goes, is this what you do online? I'm like, yep, those are diamond paintings. And Lady's like, oh, I've heard of those. Those things seem like really a lot of fun. Is that what's all over the wall downstairs? I'm like, yep. So they take a look at the, the thing and I'm like, nobody uses this room. It's literally just for storage. I just put my stuff in here uh, to get it out of the way before I either give it away or work on it. So yeah, there's literally nothing really going on in this room. So they're like, all right. So they go back downstairs. They're like, okay, you guys are good. Thank you so much for letting us walk through. I'm like, you no problem. I'm like, Jamal, would you mind letting the dogs out before um, you leave? And he's like, yep, I got them. So he made sure everybody was out of the house. He let the dogs out and then they left. Um, they left us an air filter too because we had to change the air filter in our furnace thing. Like there's like a weird filter or something in there that we have to change. Either way, we got all of that done yesterday. So yeah, so today I'm thinking, you know, who's coming to the door because I remembered, okay, well maybe they're coming to do a, like a different inspection or make sure we put the filter in correctly for the furnace or whatever. And it was UPS. Now take it. At any time, you can hand a UPS driver a package and they'll take it for you. So the fact that I spent three hours this morning looking for a place to take my packages just to come home, sit down, and UPS knock on my door to hand me a package, I was livid. I was livid. So yeah, so there's that. If you guys can't tell, I'm getting my DP mojo back and I'm super excited about it. So thank you guys for all that support me on YouTube and on Twitch. I, I really appreciate it. I know, again, not everybody is a Twitch person, but the fact that you still support me here while I do my thing there and bring you still content here is greatly appreciated. Now, I don't plan on ever getting rid of my YouTube, so please don't worry about that. If I do decide to take a night off or to skip a video for a day, don't freak out. I'll be back the next following week. That's probably something going on that I just need to take care of. So don't worry. Miss Coffee isn't going anywhere. And I know that's a fear of a lot of folks here on YouTube that don't do Twitch is that Miss Coffee is going to go somewhere. I promise. And I don't make promises that I can't keep. I promise I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going to get rid of my lives. I'm not going to get rid of making any more. Like, you guys only get three videos a week now. So, like, I really can't take many more videos away from you. So, <laughs> like, unless it's, like, dire straits where I really just don't have a video. Like, I, I can't really take any more videos away from you. There's, n there's nothing more to take. So, the videos will stay the same. The live streams will stay the same. Like, everything's going to be, everything's going to be Gucci. We got this. So, with that said, I probably should get out of here, though, because I've been on here for almost an hour and 15 minutes. So thank you guys so much for letting me ramble. I really appreciate it. Honestly, I'm not the best at using the glue dots, so this isn't, like, the best tutorial of them. But I wanted to let you guys know that Jenny over at Oh Snap Crafters Cafe does have these sparkly snap, Oh Snap dots. 
and that you guys should give them a try. They smell amazing. Um, like I said, they worked great in this pen. Didn't like this pen. So I'm not sure why it didn't like this pen, but it works great in this pen. I didn't have any trouble with it the other day. It took me a little bit to get it in there, but again, that's because I'm new at using them. I will continue to use them to get used to them. They're not bad once they're in the pen and they're actually working. It's just getting them in there and getting them to work, which is kind of hard for me. So I did struggle with these, but they are a good product. And I am a huge supporter of Oh Snap Crafters Cafe. I back them 100%, especially since they come out with these new original ideas. You got to love to see it. So you guys go go over and share some, um, show some love to Jenny over at Oh Snap Crafters Cafe. And yeah. So with that said, I must now bid you adieu, but not for reminding you that it's hard out here in these crafty streets. Please stay safe, wear a mask, wash your hands, don't touch your face in public because that's gross. Keep your six feet and always try to remember to be kind to others because you never know what somebody else is going through. Be courteous because it's the right thing to do and always stay cool. Bye guys.